Hello. It's stream time. So, before we begin, uh, mention this on Tuesday's stream, but, uh, Scarlet Hollow Episode 3 is coming up soon, uh, March 7th, so... Dark Souls is gonna wind up taking a brief hiatus in three weeks? Yeah, I've got, I've got three weeks of stream left, this one included, and then Scarlet ha Hollow will have been out for a few days, and I'm gonna wanna play it, so... Hopefully I get to a spot where I can de-rust afterwards very easily. I feel like I'm just gonna wind up, like, in the middle of Blight Town before I, uh, <laughs> wind up, uh, going to Scarlet Hollow. Uh, I'd say Anorlando, but there's no way in hell I'm getting that far. Oh yeah, total. I'm just gonna beat Dark Souls in three sessions. Here I go. All right, Oops, gotta move this over. Whoop. Okay, gonna load the game. Gonna load the game. Gonna look at the Armor of Thorns. All right, so... We'll mention, um... This is one of the weeks where I did not, in fact, play between sessions, even though I said that's something I might do. So now I need to figure out where I went when I died. I remember being murdered by a dog. Uh, that feels important. And I also remember that I need to just fucking run. As long as I do that. I have enough stamina to get through. Oh wow. Dragon didn't even try to kill me this time. Amazing. Alright, and the door is right over here. So let's see. Way to go is down. Now, where did I wind up going to? Also, if I find the dogs again, it's on sight. Because they did throw me off a cliff. Well, no, the dogs didn't throw me off a cliff, to be fair. I fucked up and fell off a cliff. Alright, uh, let's see, so I came from there. And you know what? I might as well do a vengeance real quick. Gonna change stances. And hey, how's it going? Nice attempt to make me bleed. Didn't fall for it. You're very fast, but I poked you. You may be fast, but my poking game is on point, fittingly enough. Let's see. Nope, that's a wall. Somebody. Please let me out of here. Somebody. Anybody. Help me. Damn. I'm finished. How did this ever happen? Alright. It's locked. I can tell. <sighs> Don't worry. I'll get you out of there. Look, you weren't locked in... Uh, church, so you're probably- Oh god. They've discovered fire. Fuck. The ultimate weapon. As established in the intro of the game. Fire is very hot. Fire is very dangerous. And now they're wielding it. They're unstoppable. Except I did extremely stop them, actually. I did very much stop them. Oh, hello. <laughs> Jesus. Alright, Twin Humanities. I mean, that doesn't help me very much. Well, it'll help in the future. I'm not gonna say that's bad. Uh, Twin Humanities is actually super good for kindling bonfires. But, I'm looking for a key. I very much need that key. Because I want to free that man. He's not locked in a jail cell, he's locked in a house. 
And if there's anything suspicious about him, we'll deal with him later. For the time being, a man is just stuck in a house and needs help. Gotta ate him. Hello. Goodbye. I'm gonna be honest, I really don't know what you were trying for there. I mean, I guess that's an ambush because now somebody else is attacking me. Hello. Ah, great many rogues. Alright, well. Apparently there are just mysterious rogues about. Probably up my bleed resist. I do have so much moss for this very purpose, but it's not out and about right now. You see. Oh no, dog ambush! Okay, blood loss. Well, don't know about blood loss, but um, you all right there, buddy? Do you have a key on you? No? Alright. Oh. Nope, that's just a large soul of a lost undead. Also, there's a boss room over there. Alright. Cool. Uh, thief mask. Well, it's a whole lot of thief stuff. Target shield. It's all probably significantly worse than what I have equipped. That's lighter gear, probably, for people who want light stuff to not weigh them down. But those people are fools. Okay, this is probably the boss I've been thinking of. The, the really annoying one who has companions and a very annoying room. I'm gonna avoid that for now, though. Anybody behind me? No? Alright. I mean, it didn't look, really look like there was anywhere anybody could hide, but I've been wrong before. See? That guy almost got me. Gotta be careful. People out there are gonna try to ambush you before you can poke them. Just gotta poke them right back. You gotta ignore their attempts and just poke them anyway. Oh, hey. You're shooting an arrow at me. Uh, I'm going over here. Oh, mm. There's a thing right there, but I can't get to it. Oh, I can! Alright, cool. We can reach through bars. Amazing. Hmm. Is that just the door on the other side? Is, is that where the guy's trapped? I don't know. That does look like a cell door. I'll continue to trust him for now. No reason not to, but eh, there's a slight bit of suspicion there. That is... Well, there's water. Oh! Well, usually that would be <laughs> very threatening, uh, but, you know, souls are currency, so it's fine. Uh, let's see, you got a whole lot of stuff. Alluring skull. Applies fire to right-hand weapon. Oh, transient curse. Ah, oh, but I need 4,000 souls. Okay, so you're where I find the transient curse. I need more stuff. Oh, Prism Stone, that's cool. Uh, oh, and you've just got Humanities and Purging Stones. Jeez. Hey, I, I just need to open up my backpack. And I need to find my souls. And get to 4,000 so I can get a Transient Curse. Let's see, how much is this? 200? Cool.
All right, one more of these. All right, cool. All my tiny souls are now gone. But I'm back. I'm back and... Oh, there, there you are. Hello. All right, so I've already got a purging stone, and that's good. It's good to have a purging stone, uh, but I need a transient curse. Thank you. Oh, there's something down there. Oh, that sucks. Aw, well, that's good. I mean, if I need any more transient curses, I most certainly will. Uh, let's see, this looks like it's too broken up to go up. Oh yeah, nope, nothing to do there. But there was a path this way, and I guess since I'm just doing this now, might as well investigate. I wanted to fight Hovel the Rock, but gotta explore first. There's so much other stuff. Oh. Oh, that's a big rat. How many rules do you make, buddy? Wait, is this just... Is this just the entrance to Undeadburg? It is! I remember you guys. Do you remember me? I bet you do. Ruined your day a while back as well. Alright, well then. Uh, I guess I could go down to Ghost Town now that I have a transient curse on me, but... What if instead I went back this way? I'm still yet to find a key to help that one guy. But there's still a stairway I've yet to take. And I'm gonna go in that direction. Alright, well, I've got a boss that I can fight when I'm done with Hobble the Rock. But who knows when that'll happen. Alright, so let's see. Right, yes, this way. I'm going this way. Yes, yes, I know, you're there. Don't you worry, I'll get you eventually. I also have to uh, practice ambush central at some point. But that'll be for later. Okay, so we're back here. We're pretty good progress. I've cleared out this general spot. And this time, when I go upstairs, I won't get ganked by a dog. Well, again. The dog attacked me, but I thrust myself into oblivion. It's a dumb thing to do. Hello. Oh, we're back here. I remember you guys. Alright, well, uh, I have a multitude of different spots I can go through to reach Hovel, then. And I might as well at this point just go back here, and I'm gonna restock. Gonna, gonna get all my Estuses back. And let's repair my Halberd. Don't really need to, but eh, why not? Okay. So, what direction do I want to go? 
I think I want to go this way. I think it's a little easier uh, if I go up the ladder. That's the thing I do. That's always how it's been. That staircase has never not been destroyed when I'm here. Don't know why I tried it. Alright, so I think it'll be slightly easier to go this way. Even though there's a big dragon who will threaten to set me on fire. That is completely avoidable. I didn't this time, but you know, sometimes that's just your luck. <laughs> Sorry for bothering you, geez. Alright, now then. I want to go this way, I think. Absolutely obliterate these barrels. <sighs> I'm still upset I did not get the, the Taurus Demon's axe. That would have been nice. A very heavy build. It would have been cool to have something to look forward to. I extremely could not use it now, but you know, eventually. Alright, so that's a little more eventful than the uh, route I was taking before through Darkroot Basin, but I think this is a bit faster. Oh, hello. You're also probably going to attempt to be trouble, but I don't care. Now, I have to descend, and I have to be careful, because eventually I'm going to find Hovel. And he will immediately aggro on me. Now, if I get really desperate, apparently you can just poke him a whole bunch uh, through the Darkroot Basin door. But I, I want to give him a legit fight. I, I don't want to uh, cheap out on it. Oh, God. I do believe this counts as, oh, Lord, he coming. God, Hovel's excited for this. <laughs> He's been waiting all week to kick my ass. Ah, jeez. Every time. Oh, that is a wide, wide attack. Why do I keep trying to do that? <laughs> Didn't even mean to destroy those barrels, but you know what? Fuck it. That's what you get, barrels. That's what you get. I don't know why I'm yelling at the barrels. Why am I taunting the barrels? They are nothing before me. Barrels never did anything to anybody. Okay, so, it's gonna run. Thank you for only breathing a little bit of fire. Not a lot of bit of fire. It's very kind of you, big dragon. Uh, nope. Not that way. <laughs> yeah, the items on the bridge are a trap. If you try to get them, the dragon will assume you're just trying to fight. And will fight you. And we'll fucking do it. It'll go. Doesn't care. Don't mind me just going into this door. You don't need to bother with me. You don't need to care about me. It's fine. Alright, and I'm going to make sure that you don't ambush me. See, I already see you turning around. I see you aggroing. Nice try, but no. Okay, so, Hovel. Well, I could repeatedly trick him to fall down. Because while I don't want to poke him through the door, 
environmental damage has been uh, an id's thing this whole time. Works out very well for her. Yeah, I see ya. He's coming for me. Wow, literally the worst place he could have dodged into. <laughs> Uh, I got stuck on the stairway, unfortunately. I wish he would not use his one-hit kill swing, because I'm gonna be honest, I cannot differentiate them. I just know that sometimes I survive, and sometimes I don't. This does... Uh, hmm. This does bring up the question, though. Should I fight the actual boss first? Because if I fight the actual boss... Then you get the fuck out of the way. Ah, dang it. <laughs> Dragon decided to set me on fire again. Yeah, anyway. If I do the main boss first, then that's souls that I can use to do upgrades. And therefore, I have a little more chance against, uh, old Hovel. But I also want to beat Hovel first, is the thing. I want to- I want to do it. I think I can get it. I was doing a good job the first time. I don't know, maybe I should use the door strategy. I mean, look, door is part of the environment. It's man-made, but it's there now. And look, if Havel can't figure it out, then that's his fault. God, please stop doing that. I want to aim for the guy who's in front of me, who I'm looking at. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking try it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try the thing. Not the door thing, the other thing. I think I've got the movement. Oh dear. He's aggroed, right? Yeah. Kinda figured he had to be. Oh! Hey game! Uh, remember what I just said about, uh... What you should be doing? Uh, you should be aiming... Perhaps not for, uh... Behind me, but the thing that's coming towards me? Hey, ga hey game, what if you actually targeted the thing I was looking at and is aggroing on me? Like, you know he's coming after me. You're the video game. You know what's trying to kill me at all times, because you're making it happen. And look, I expect to die, but like, you know, it's not the part I'm upset about. I would like you to actually look at the thing. I, I would like you to, to, to target the thing and not just go, what's behind me? Like... You're also not looking behind me now, which is just salt in the wound. Like, now that there's no danger to... I'm gonna ask how I was getting sent on fire there. Now that there's no danger to not targeting something, you're not actually doing the thing wrong like you were. Now, like, I'm pressing the right stick and you're no longer just looking behind me. It is just mildly annoying that that only serves as a quick turnaround button when there's actual danger presence. Like, I'm just saying, please target the thing trying to aggro on me. What if I, I try to target these guys? Okay, still a little too high up? Alright. Okay, cool, you targeted the guy. Thank you. Thank you for actually targeting the person in front of me. Instead of just not. I don't know why you keep doing that. Alright, there's 
requires some souls right here. A very easy to pick up spot. Can't see no. I don't I don't need a recenter button. I need I need you to look at the guy. Alright, come for me. Get on down here and follow me in this direction, please. Damn it, he took the stairs. Ah, uh, yep, yeah, no. Uh, sometimes you just dodge and, you know, he's going to hit you. Alright, maybe I should do the door strat. Unfortunately, when it comes to heavy builds, he's got the heavy, the better heavy build. He can just crush me very easily. And unfortunately, the strategy I was hoping would work did not. Ah, damn it. Unfortunately, I, I could not get him to fall down the stairs. He has wisened up to that old trick now that I've realized it's a potential trick. I, I was just waiting for him. I was, I was gonna just fucking... Uh, do a heavy attack on him when he came down. But no, he didn't. It's my, that's right, Nestoc. I wonder if this changes my speed enough. Maybe I also just need to, uh, dodge a different direction. Maybe that's my issue. It is kind of hard to tell, though. Because he does keep killing me very quickly. Dang, I really got hit by that guy, huh? Alright, well, hmm. I am doing significantly worse now that I'm coming in from this angle. I thought this would help, but apparently not. This is the opposite of an improvement. Okay, nope. Please aim at Hovel. Thank you. Oh, that whipped. Oh, God. Alright, we'll call that a wash. Okay, so if I just move around normally, that's actually faster than rolling, it seems. There's no way that could just be the ideal strategy, though, right? Like, I'm just getting lucky. Alright, yeah, you come down here. I can't believe the halberd just clinks. <laughs> I mean, there's a little bit of splatter noise. Ooh, that was close. Ah, dang it. Ugh. Okay, so, I think I've got the right idea. I've got the right idea. I just kind of got backed into a corner. Didn't really have my own movements. Okay. Alright, so, yeah. Rolling takes too long. And the main issue is, like... Uh... 
He's actually pretty accurate with that thing. He actually takes good advantage for the slower portions of the roll. I would really appreciate it if you stopped breathing fire on me. I don't know how I got lucky those other times, but... Okay, now this is just an insult, right? Like, now you're just being an ass. Like, oh, you, you made a little bit of progress with Hobble? Well, guess what? Double fire. Good job, idiot. Now, now you gotta take two drinks. Uh, I'll wait until I maybe get hit by the other guy. Because otherwise, it's just a waste of a drink. Alright, so I think I have this, though. I think I just need to be always aware of my movements. Uh, I think I need to be on, up on the second floor. I think I'm better at maneuvering that particular spot. I don't know why that's the case, but that just seems to be it. So, if I wind up on the first floor for whatever reason, just go back to the seconds. Don't try to fight him on those terms. He will win if I do that. Also doesn't matter too much if I use up this Estus because if I get hit, I'll probably die. I also lied earlier. I think I can kind of tell the difference between his swings. But it's more when it's coming down rather than when it's starting. Which is uh, not particularly useful to go, Ah, that's the swing that immediately kills me that is about to hit me on the head. And just obliterate my entire, entire skeletal structure. Alright, so. Okay, so I think that's his one hit kill swing. When he kind of does the uh, overhands. Because that does look like it has a lot of power behind it. I got too greedy. I got too greedy, but I like I did not expect him to flinch. I don't I don't know why he flinched there. I don't know, but like if I wanted to capitalize that, I should have known it was going to happen. Uh but because I wasn't ready, uh I fucked up. <laughs> I fucked up instead. Hmm. You know what? Let me see if this is faster to go this way. I mean, like, I'm going to wind up using a uh, Estus Flask anyway, so... I was out of stamina. I wasn't targeting. Hey, can you actually heal, please? Thank you. Poke. Alright, well that was extremely sloppy. Now, let's see. I want to go... It was this way, right? Okay, that's right. Gotta, gotta go this way. Gotta not fall off a cliff. Woo! I feel like this more or less takes the same amount of time. Yeah, because then I'm going... Up here, and then I'm just going across. Yeah, if anything, this takes longer. Alright, well, that's good to know. It takes longer, and... Gonna be honest, I think that even... That, that didn't even give me as many souls, because usually I get, like, 500-something. Alright, so... Well, the lesson has at least been learned. Also, could you burn those guys for me? Can I get you to aggro? Come on. No, I can't trick you. Alright, fine. You be that way. Dragon's too damn smart. I don't like it. Damn smart dragons. Yeah, this takes way longer. I mean, I probably could have guessed, but I'm gonna check and see. Look, sometimes you just get a little bit tired of being set on fire by a dragon. 
Wild, I know, but, you know, you know. Just wanted to check and see. And not get set aflame. They're just firing at the floor. <laughs> They're just being weirdos who shoot the ground. Okay, let's try this again. So, I do not know how to stagger hovel reliably. So, don't rely on it. Simple as that. Alright. Can't stagger him reliably, so... Aggro him. Oh. Uh, game's refusing to aggro. Yeah, I... Hey, game, I never need a quick turnaround button. Alright. Oh, this is gonna kill me. Somehow it did not. Alright, I do need to make a quick getaway, though, so we're gonna... We're gonna play this game. Please fall off the cliff. Nope, he's playing it smart. Alright, so. Do your swing. Ah, dang it. Ugh. Didn't knock me down, though. Ah, did get me from the stairway, though. Ugh. Alright, so, stair speed. Significantly slower. <laughs> Not not fast enough to avoid. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Undead Berg, here we go. And unfortunately, Dragon Route is faster. Well, here I go getting set on fire again. Are you already aggro? You are. You know, Forged in Fire isn't usually this literal, right? Like, I'm not going to get better by being set on fire repeatedly. Okay, well then. You know, I might have more luck with the actual boss at this point. <laughs> uh, I might want to actually consider just going after the real boss. And then afterwards I can just do some upgrades. I'm feeling maybe strength. Because anything... If there's anything I'm lacking, it's strength. No. Oh, which means I can do this. run backwards around an enemy. It's like, if I start running, that might not be a bad idea. No, please. Hey, game? 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 Okay, no. Yeah, no, I, th I thought it was always just, uh... That. Whoop! Don't know how I avoided that. Why did I press the roll button? Oh, thank you. Oh, God! <laughs> Ugh. How did that not hit me? 
Alright, you take stairs slower, so I'm just gonna say fuck you. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Problem is, when I do stagger him, he can actually make a pretty quick comeback. Uh, you alright there, buddy? Uh-oh! I've entered his range! Fuck! Uh, it was a trap. I fell for it. Ah, uh, damn it. I was a fool. I thought he was stuck on the stairs, but that was just his gambit. In actuality, he was prepared for me to just trip and fall and eat shit. <laughs> Just landed right in front of his feet. Probably should have gone downwards instead of upwards. I think that would have actually helped me. Probably could have made a quicker escape like that. Alright, please do not aggro immediately, dragon. You're already aggroing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you took most of my HP in just one run, huh? Did you just... Double fire in one burst? Because, like... Oh, fuck you! Also, did I take more damage in the stance that should be more defensive? It is more def defensive, right? Like, you'd, you'd think two hands would be the, the more offense-based one. This one would be, like, Maybe maybe it's because the shield's on the back. Does that actually matter? Does shield positioning matter? I mean, I did take way more fucking damage when the shield wasn't on my back. So, you know what? If that actually matters, that's cool. I'll be taking those. Oh, sure, now you don't double fire. Alright, I thought it would be more advantageous to uh, change stances. But nope. Uh. Shield up my back does seem to do, like, actual defensive work. It just stops fires. So that's cool. I guess that means I can never go for a smaller shield, though. Because if shield positioning matters, then obviously size matters too. Gotta have a bigger shield. Alright, so. Gotta, gotta kill your ass. Or not. Yep, you charge right for me, thank you. Alright, Hovel. Round whatever this is. I have lost count, but you know what? Doesn't matter. Only one of us is playing with permadeath, and it ain't me. Stream would have been over a long time ago if this were an Iron Man run. Alright, 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 alright. There's the hovel. There's the game still not targeting correctly. Could you maybe target correctly before he gets here? Oh god! Oh god. Good move. How did I dodge that? That was not a dodge. Fuck. <laughs> uh, Should have gone left or right. Yeah. Okay, so, hmm, I am mildly worried about fighting Hovel for a whole session, so you know what? Because I more or less know, like, what I'm doing wrong, uh, I'm actually going to go and start practicing for the actual boss. Because, like, I know what my strategy is.
I just think I need a little more offensive power to pull it off. Okay, so... Whoop, mm, mm. I do not like there just being a cliff here. It's not a very safe route, but it's the route I'm going to take nonetheless. Gotta get down the stairway. It might still be better to do dragon route just for the sake of not falling to my death. Alright, dogs. Fucking come at me. No. Here we go. No. Quit biting me. <laughs> well, that was pathetic on my end. And that was pathetic on your end. That time you kind of just wandered into my halberd. Oh boy, a bandit's knife. That probably has terrible range and damage. That is extremely not the thing I want to play. I kind of love the halberd. Sorry, everyone. Sorry to all you knife fans, you know, fans of the concept of the weapon of knife, but... Ah, damn it. Yeah, I'm gonna need you to stop. <laughs> stop permanently. Or at least until the next run. Okay, well then. Let's fight a motherfucker. It's the Capra Demon. Capra Demon's got dogs. Nobody likes the dogs. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I am extremely dead now. Yeah, so, like I've been saying, uh, I managed to chunk off a lot of the Capra Demon's HP considering I was just kind of flailing and fucking about that entire fight, so... Uh, the main issue is just getting this fight under control. But that's a pretty big issue... Because, Jesus, that room does suck. I will say, uh, having now played this room for myself, uh, yeah, no, I can see why everybody hates the room. That room is garbage, uh, the camera angle is basically always bad, and... The dogs do not help. <laughs> the dogs extremely do not help. So I think basically the strategy is, run for the fucking doors, or the, the stairs, rather take out dogs, and then just fight Capra Demon. I think once I have the dogs dead, uh, I can at least fight the Capra Demon kinda normally. But again, the room sucks. <sighs> this is just a, a stream session of bad rooms. That's the theme of the day. What if the rooms you fought in were part of the reason you died? I will say for Hobble's part, though, uh, he's actually not bad. Like, you know what, Hobble? Uh, even if I weren't constantly running into the room, the, the, yeah, at the edge of the circular room, god damn it. Uh, I think I would still be killing, uh, or getting killed by him. 
Also, I got a weapon called the Mailbreaker. I'm guessing that's a surprisingly offensive weapon, right? Let's see, where is it? Mailbreaker, give me a description. Thrust, thrusting sword, physical... Ooh, critical damage. Pierce through tough armor. <laughs> Alright, so that's pretty cool. Not really what I'm looking for, though. Not the kind of weapon I want. Alright, you know, this time, uh, I'm gonna take a drink here. And y'all are gonna follow me out. You're, you're gonna follow me to my turf. See... <laughs> you can't go to their ambush zone. Do not play by their rules. Or you die. Whoops. Extremely pressed the wrong button there. Alright, so, Capra de Demon, take two. Oh, here he comes. <laughs> He's the Capra Demon. Oh, cool. I'm just stuck in the corner. Well, goodbye, everybody. That was fun. <laughs> what a good take where I got so much accomplished. What, what, a, what a good take where the enemies just said, fuck you, you're in the corner now. And then I was in the corner and I died. <sighs> anyway, yeah, so like I've been saying, Capra Demon's a fuck. I have been waiting for this, and yeah, no, he... Guy's a bastard. This is one of those instances where I have to ask myself, should I be using my shield instead? So it's a tough question, because anytime I see an enemy with a weapon about as tall as I am, my usual inclination is just, well, I can't parry that, obviously. Why would I be able to, uh, parry that? Like, I could lay on top of that like it were a bed. It's just that big. Alright, so there's you, there's you, who just rushed in. Alright, let's all go over here. Right? Right? Come on. Yep. I knew you'd do that. And there's one more, right? Pretty sure. No? Alright. Well, I will continue on under that assumption. Alright. Aggro all y'all. Come on. And now you're here. Oh, yeah, see? They were just waiting for my impatience. Clever bastards. Come on. Alright, you cheeky bastard. And there's one more dog. And now there's no more dogs. Alright, healed up. Let's not get trapped in the corner. Because Jesus. That was not a fun death. Fucking Devil May Cry comboed. Great. <laughs> 
I got one good attempt where I wasn't immediately killed by something, and now I'm just not learning anything from my attempt, so that sucks. <laughs> That's bad. So what if there was a boss that immediately aggroed upon you entering its shitty room? Oops, that's the wrong direction. What if the room for the boss? Really? <laughs> really? You were ready for that? Uh. What if there was a boss whose room was terrible? But then, when you entered the room, he is just like, Hi, yes, hello, I'm ready for you. And just fucking Devil May Cry comboed you. Until most of your health was gone. And also, his dogs are there, and they kill you too. What if that happens? Ugh, <sighs> yeah. <laughs> this is definitely a boss where there's too many elements. I'm pretty sure that's the general consensus, so this isn't a hot take or anything, but yeah, no. Like, because it's aggressive boss plus dogs plus bad room, it just becomes kind of a trial, but like, not a fun one. Just kind of tedious, because again, I'm not learning anything from any attempts. Because I already know the dogs are fuckers. I got that. I figured that one out. Hey, maybe, maybe instead of uh, kicking, you could do the attack normally. I do wish there was a dedicated kick button so the game wouldn't just do that sometimes. I'm very bad at knowing what the context is for a kick versus just doing the standard attack. Alright, well, time to get killed immediately. I should probably wait for the blood meter to not, but... Well, I'm not trapped in a corner, but I was trapped long enough to get killed. Should have weaponed instead of rolling, but whatever. Cool. Man, this sucks. <laughs> I want to fight the Capra Demon in a room that doesn't suck, because honestly, his moveset seems to fun to deal with. I think I would enjoy this boss if it wasn't just a thousand elements that just do not work well together. But yeah, I think, I think, I think, I think, I want to, uh, kill Copper Demon before I kill, uh, Hovel the Rock. Because I think Hovel the Rock is harder. Like, I'm pretty sure once I figure out how to not just get absolutely obliterated by the ten layers of bullshit the Copper Demon throws at ya. Jesus, this dog. Dog did not want to get hit. Fucking parkour dog. Yeah, once I figure out how to not just get immediately slaughtered and use the stairway for my own benefit, uh, I, th I think that's when I'll have it. Because I took out like half of Copper Demon's HP on that first attempt. And again, I was just... Oh god. Well, your back attack didn't do shit for damage, but, uh... The animation took a while. It was a lengthy animation you had there. I was worried you were gonna kill me for a sec, but nope. Alright, well then. It's a good reminder that you can get back attacked. That's not just a player skill. Enemies can also do, a, do that. Just like some enemies can also parry.
Nah. Uh, Hollow Thief's leather armor. It's probably not that good. No. <laughs> Illegal. Alright, let's fucking go for it again. Ah, god damn it. Oh, you're the first up the stairs, huh? Get fucked. <laughs> Fuck you. On second thought, second thought, fuck you, actually. Hey, Capra Demon, get dead, idiot. <laughs> On the other hand, you ain't shit. <laughs> well, okay then. Like I said, wasn't obliterated immediately. And I won. So that went far better. Alright. That's just a ragdolling dog, right? Yeah. I don't know if I complained enough about Capra Demon. I don't think his posture was very good. I think his posture was terrible. Alright, so, I got the key to the depths. Uh, so let's see. Key to the depths. Opens door leading from Lower Burg to depths. Those banished from the undead Burg eat out their existence in the depths, a damp lair with no trace of sunlight. Nearly half of the depths form a perilous flooded labyrinth. Is that your house? It, it is your house the depths, friend? Uh, this isn't the uh, house, it's this one, right? Nope, still locked. Might have to look out how I, uh, look up how I'm supposed to get his key, because I'm going to be honest, I don't know. I hope I can find it. It would be cruel if it wasn't anywhere around. Alright, and now I'm going to carefully go up the stairs. I'm going to not fall off a cliff and lose all these souls. Because that would be dumb and bad. Let's not do that. Oh, fuck. I have to carefully go around here. Oh, hi. Hello. You've been waiting there for a while, huh? Uh, game's dying, Cloud. <laughs> This spot in Undeadburg just really chugs, and I don't know why. Alright, well, anyway. I think I reset that guy. Alright, so... Let's level up. So I could up my physical defense, but then I don't quite have enough souls to level up after that. I think strength is the number one thing I want. Huh. Dexterity would actually... 219, 221. And that still makes all my uh, defenses go up. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. Fuck it. All right, so I need five thousand souls to uh, level up again. Hmm. Uh, how many souls can I get? So I've got a ton of random ones. 
Oh, that's 400. Oh, that's really good. And one more should do it. All right, cool, 5,000. So, in our, oh wait, nope, I need to use one more. That's fine, that's fine. Let's see. Now let's level up. Uh, let's see, so vitality gives me a lot more HP and a little more defense. Extra strength doesn't give me a lot of actual attack power, not a lot of defense. Dexterity gives me three whole attack power, though. Resistance wouldn't be too bad. This is kind of useless to me. Faith, nah. Hmm. That's a lot of HP, actually. That's a lot of HP and a little bit more defense, so I'm gonna go Vitality. And... I forget what I need to double Kindle, so I'm not going to Reverse Hollow, unfortunately. I would love to have my humanity back, but nope. I'm not gonna do it. Alright, so... With that being done, I now have 40 more minutes to see if I can defeat Hovel the Rock. That's the one thing I still want to do. Otherwise, I've got a few different places I can go to. Uh, I've got the key to the depths, but I don't know exactly where that goes. Uh, I've got... Uh, let's see what it's called. Uh, Darkroot Basin. I'm gonna get set on fire here. Yep, there we go. No, that just... Okay, that just did double the damage again. Why does the dragon just sometimes do more damage? Whatever. But anyway, yeah, I've got Darkroot Basin to do. Um, I do have the Transient Curse, so I can travel through the uh, ruins area now that I can actually fight ghosts. But I think I'll put that off. Because I think Darkroot Basin's my first priority. <laughs> Alright, so. What I'm hoping is... I now have a decent enough amount of damage. And maybe even enough HP that hovels a bit easier. At the very least, I know that my footwork has to be fancy. Uh, rolling's not r really going to get me what I want here. So I just need to be able to dodge Hovel. Uh, it would be nice if I could stun him more, but also he recovers from that by smashing my face in, so... It's not really the ideal thing to go with, either. And I could always use the door strat if I'm really desperate. Hey, Hovel has gone. So, do you know the Copper Demon? Because I killed that guy. I don't know if that means anything to you. It probably doesn't. You don't seem like you'd be bothered by Copper Demon. Uh, yeah, no. Alright, I'm going downstairs. And you're gonna follow me. Uh. Alley -oop. Can't trick him down the stairs again. Uh oh. Do the jab. It's his big swing. That's 
his big swing. That's also the exit. Which at the moment, his big swing is kind of the easiest thing to dodge. So I'm kind of hoping he keeps doing that. Yeah, I'm not falling for that one. <laughs> I know what you do when you get stunned. I'm just gonna play the pokey game. Ah, dang it. Ugh. Did not move in quite the right way. Also, hello, Dino, whose message has now disappeared from the stream. Alright, well, I'm getting it down a little bit, at least. I'm getting a little better. Oh, Dino, sorry. Misread that. Alright, I'm just gonna keep running. Please don't set me on fire. And you didn't? Okay. Cool? <laughs> Question mark? Alright, well then. Sometimes the game does actually listen. <laughs> I mean, it helps slightly. I didn't get set on fire. Unfortunately. S just does not really matter in this case. If I die, I die. Still cannot survive big swing. Did not expect to die... Uh, survive big swing, to be fair. Alright. Uh, mm. Alright. Let's do this song and dance again. Unfortunately, my souls are all the way down there, so I'm just going to say they're lost. Let's just not worry about those. Oh, he's just he's just taking his time this time. There he goes. Now he's running. Now he's booking it. See, the moment I stop poking. No, I'm not falling for that one. I should probably heal, just so I don't get glancing blowed. Alright. And... Whoop. It's rare that I can get him to fall for that one. I almost died and that would have been deserved. <laughs> I did die and that was deserved. <laughs> To be fair, I feel like fat rolls aren't as bad as I kind of treated them at the start. Because it's kind of avoiding doing rolls at all. But uh, in this case, yeah, they don't help. <laughs> High speed build would be good here. Well... I didn't get set on double fire this time, at least. Oh, wait, nope. Okay. I was set on fire twice, but it wasn't the extra damage one that just happens sometimes. 
Uh, the the double damage fire is what actually gets me. T two smaller fires, still not enough damage to really kill me. All right. Don't mind me, I'm just going this way. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I feel like any time I try to heal, I wind up screwing up more, so... If I get Glancing Bloat, I should probably just accept it and move on and try to poke him to death, uh... As I was. Yep, there he is. Target them. Thank you. Alright, go for it. Uh, thank you. I was gonna get punished there. Was gonna get punished there, because I went right into that swing, and... Somehow, not a second time. I mean, it is a better idea to go for the fast wing swings, rather. Because honestly, if he clips me with one of those, then it's just over at this point. But like I said, I screw up more if I... I don't like... He's doing this. Mm. This is a bad spot. Ah, yep. Oh yeah, I still need to go get the uh, Crest of Victorious at some point. That's a thing I should also consider. Of course, now that I say that, I'm pretty sure I can't do anything about it. Now that I'm saying Artorias out loud, I feel like it's definitely a thing I cannot tackle right now. Oh, that was the painful fire. Alright, just don't do that again, please. Thank you. All right. Uh, at some point I should go back to using uh, the shield though. I feel like I've just been doing a whole lot with two-handed stance, but like, in my defense, there have been a lot of big guys. Many large men have awaited me. And what am I, what am I gonna do if not just stab him with a halberd? Like, using both hands. Alright, top myself off, and here we go, alright. I'm gonna clobber that there hovel. Eh, why not? It's not strictly necessary to get those back, but if they're easy to get, I might as well. Well, Hovel's excited for this one. I don't know how to feel about that. Is this the kind of excited that makes you make more mistakes? Because I'm all for that. 
Well, you are stuck on the stairs, which, you know, works for me. Except it almost didn't. I almost got gotten. He's almost lured into Hovel's devious stair trap yet again. Fuck. <laughs> Let's be over here healing. Can I trick him into falling again? Probably not. Ugh. Nope. <laughs> Okay, well then. Thank you, weird angle. Alright. Oops. Wrong way. Thankfully, I was not punished for that. Alright, so. I'm better on this floor. Come this way. And if you want to get stuck on the stairs again, I, I won't complain. Of course. I could fall for his devious stair trick yet again. <laughs> Hovel's devious stair trick. He's been here for years. He knows this tower inside and out. Which is kind of easy. It's a very simple tower. He's gotten used to it, you see. He's gone up and down these stairs over and over again. He's envisioned every possible fight we could throw at him. Ah, dang it. Almost had him. Almost had him. Ah, see, now he's guarding the stairs. Ah, dang it. Ugh. Moving too horizontally when I should have moved a little vertically. Should have just floated up. Should have just no clipped. Why didn't why didn't I no clip? If I simply no clipped, I could win this fight. That's all you gotta do. Just gotta no clip, and then you're good. You win. Can't believe I just said BRB killing the Capra Demon to Hovel. And then I came back, and now we're doing this more. Oh, there's the fire. Oh, there's the double painful fire again. And it sounds like you're just going to set me on fire again. Yep. Double painful fire, and then you just set me on extra fire immediately. Sometimes the dragon does just hate you, though. That's a thing you have to keep in mind. Sometimes the dragon just fucking hates you. This is the faster path. But I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I should go back to Darkroot Basin. It's uneventful, but like... At the same time... <laughs> uh, it's uneventful and I think a little bit longer. I think this is a slightly faster route. Oh, he's already going to set me on fire. Or not? Nope, there we go. And it's double painful again. Is it because I'm running? Is that it? <laughs> and it's very dramatic roll. Here we go. Ultimate move. Finish line roll. Finish line leap. There we go. Sounds better. That describes it a bit better, too. Alright. Now, I do want to do more shield work in the future. I do, I do want to put this thing to use, but... I know full well Hovel will just kill me if I try to use the shield. I can't block that. It's not an option. I mean, it is an option. It's just not one that's going to be successful. But I am determined to beat Hovel here. I'm pretty sure I can do it. Taken out most of his HP before. Maybe I need one more level up, but... I... I am sure... I can do this.
Alright. Let's get he ass. Get he ass. Oh, yep, no. I kind of figured. Last second, it just kind of occurred to me that he was using his curved strike, which, uh... Is exactly where I ran to. Just right into his curve. Alright, I'm gonna be down here for a sec. Don't mind me. Ah, crap. There we go. Okay, thank goodness. <laughs> okay, you're very excited, which means you're going to attack. You're trying to block the stairs again. Sensible strategy. Oh, I'm not going to avoid this. I avoided it somehow. Don't know how. Don't ask me how. Whoops. Okay, well then. That was a pathetic hit. Oh, God. Alright, there we go. Now I've gotten onto the stairs. <laughs> yep, on Deadberg. Here we are again. It's like we never even left. Oh, gee. I can't believe I survived that. I really shouldn't have. Please fall. Okay, he didn't, but you know what? Gives me enough time to do that again. Okay. I consider that the easier attack to dodge, but you know, it still makes me nervous, if I'm being entirely honest. Large man slams a very large club down on you. you oh! <laughs> I didn't even trick you that time. That was just you fucking up. Can I trick you into doing that this time? Trip and fall again. Ah, but you're not you're not at a good angle for me. Ah, oh, god damn it. I got greedy. I got greedy. I got- mmm. Yep, that is exactly what's supposed to happen when you fuck up. I went for it and I shouldn't have. I- I knew I didn't have the distance. Why did I do that? <laughs> Ugh. Uh, it's always the worst when you fuck up and immediately realize you are fucking up. Oh, that was a good run I lost, too. Him falling down the stairs helped immensely. If I could have just kept that up. I think I actually should have just let him uh, come up to my level and actually, like, tried to dodge legit, you know? I think I was getting too cheeky trying to uh, cheap him out like that. There we go, now I'm on fire. I was wondering that when that would happen. It sounds like he's going again. He is, he is going again. Oh, and I'm just dead now, cool. Wait, no, I'm not somehow, but I will probably die in a moment, because he'll probably just do that again. No? Cool. Alright, well then. <laughs> Sometimes the dragon just decides you should be a little more dead than you are currently. Alright, well then. <laughs> Alright, I'm getting a little bit better, but also... Gotta keep myself in check. Can't, got, cannot get too greedy. It's my problem, is I keep getting too greedy. And then he just destroys my skeleton in one go. It probably takes a lot of effort on his part, but it's Hovel the Rock. He's very strong. He spent years honing his ability to wear very big armor and smash you with a club, and also know his own tower like the back of his hands. Alright, so, here we go. Gotta do the poke. Gotta poke him. 
I gotta poke him. Gotta slip in. I might as well pick him up. I don't think it's super necessary to pick these up, but... Like I said earlier, if they're easy, I might as well. Can I get you to attack here and fall off? Damn, I was hoping he was gonna fuck up. Any damage is good damage. But I can't hit you from here. Mm, no, see? I was gonna go for it, but I was like a split second too late on that one. He absolutely would have killed my ass if I had gone for, for it. Alright, now I gotta dodge him for real. Not the place to use that swing. Oh, jeez. Oh, there goes most of my HP. Oh, jeez. <laughs> he just went right up to me and poked me. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the fast way. I can survive a fall. All right, here's this phase where I need to get back upstairs. Ah, uh, come on, just please just do something. Oh, game's chugging. Is this part of your plan too, Hovel? Alright, much as I would like to capitalize on that, uh, I would like to be on the second floor. I'm far more confident on the second floor. Unfortunately, I can't get him to fall off a second time. Why did I do- I should have absolutely been punished for that one. Oh, that was not a good idea. Oh, jeez. Okay, so I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna hope the fall damage doesn't kill me. Ugh. Yep, no, I got punished for that one. Uh. uh yeah, no, that's fair. <laughs> uh, that one just makes sense, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that one was me trying to capitalize on a mistake, uh, that I was in no position to capitalize on. I'm so going to get hit here. There we go. Oh, and it's the double pain fire. Damn. God damn it. Ugh. This is technically the faster route, but, like, the other route isn't a dice roll, <laughs> as I'm finding this one can be sometimes. Uh, I probably should just be in Darkroot Basin, but, like, I don't want to be. I like this route because, you know, again, it should be faster. And it is when the dragon doesn't just decide that I should be dead. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Okay, that one didn't do double paint on me. Alright, cool, I made it. <laughs> The game decided that I could survive that one. Alright, so, Hovel. I don't have him down to a science, but I have picked up some pretty good tricks. Uh, I'm a bit better at poking him in the head from the stairway, so... I need to get better at doing that and then just backing off when it's not going to work. Because I'm recognizing when it doesn't work, but... 
then I kind of just fuck up half the time anyway. Get a little too aggro. The uh, best thing to be able to do would be to uh, react to when he staggers a bit better. If I could do that, I'd be golden. just react to that, then I can just capitalize on it and actually do some damage. But if you react to that too late, then he does just kill you. Doesn't stay down forever. Fuck up. <laughs> Darn it. Ooh, not getting any good hits on him. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a bit of a risk. I'm gonna gonna get a cheeky hit on him. Oh! Gonna get another cheeky hit on him because I went out the door instead. Ah damn it. Ugh. It's too cheeky. Gotta stop doing that. You cannot fuck with Hobble the Rock. I also would like to be able to re-aim. Alright. Unfortunately, this has been a sloppy battle so far. As always, the ones where I try to heal don't go super well for me. Yep, nope. Uh, recognize that as a one-hit kill a second too late. Ugh. That one's on me. I like that the game is just showing me a whole lot of cool cleric spells. Like, hey, do you want to play a cleric? Look at all these cool magic spells. Hey, remember D&D where the wizards just get to do cool shit? It's like, yeah, yeah. Would be nice to just be able to cast a spell instead of, you know, using a homeward bone. But this is my lot in life. I have to accept it. Oh, fire's already happening. Not double painful, at least. But I don't know where the fuck I am. Don't know how I got here. Please don't be double painful. Alright, well... <laughs> it was very painful, but I got through in the end. Got burned right past the point where the dragon would stop attacking me. Unless I, like, super aggroed it. You can get the dragon to jump down and just start fighting you. It will do that. Also, can you see it from here? That son of a bitch just leaves when you're not there. Alright, well this will probably be my last attempt at Hovel, unfortunately. God, I thought I would have him down this time, but nope. Instead, I just managed to kill the Capper Demon in, like, five-ish attempts? It sucked, sure, but, like... In the end, I did manage it. I, I finally just cheaped him out by killing him on the stairway. And I'm attempting to do the same thing to Hovel, but he's not having it. He is a little smarter and can also kill me way faster. So I think the answer to my question earlier is... No, yeah, I don't, I don't think Hovel gives two dams about uh, Capper Demon. If Hovel had to fight the Capper Demon, uh, he just would. Just kill him. Actually, isn't Hovel summonable against uh, at least one boss? And if so, is it Capper Demon? Because that would be funny <laughs> if that actually would be the case. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can summon Hovel at some point. Fuck up. Yes. 
<laughs> got him. Fucking got him. Uh, yeah, no, that's deserved. That one was deserved. That's me just being way too greedy. Alright, come on down this way. And try to go for a swing and fuck up. Come on, fuck up. Ah, dang it. Well, might as well pick this up. Okay, come on. Try to attack me. Hey, batter, batter, swing. Kind of saw that one coming. I should have just gone out the uh, door to Darkroot Basin, huh? Oh. Pathen's a little off, huh? That's fine. I'm... If anything, I'm glad. That was risky for me. Alright, well. Probably should clock some damage on you. Oh. Uh, thank you for not attacking me up until this point. You almost gave me a concussion, I'll give you that, but you didn't, so... It wasn't quite the swing you needed to go down. Unfortunately, that doesn't do fall damage. Even for a man in armor that large, uh, that was not a particularly big fall. Alright. Yeah, no, let's not be greedy like that. If, if he's not going to fall, he's not going to fall. Damn it. Oh, like right at the edge of that one. Ugh. Oh, that was a good run up until that happened. Should have booked it. I I should have went right for the stairs. I need to be more dynamic. That's what I've learned. All right, so I might do a little bit of grinding between streams just to uh, up my power a little bit. And also because I want to fight some actual enemies in this game. This was mostly just bosses and also those chuckle fucks out there. But I am getting close. As always, Anid, her greatest ally is just the environment. You know, the, the Capra demon thought, hey, my arena is built for me. I can fight well in this thing with my dogs. And he could. I'm not denying that. Kicked my ass a fair few times. However, in the end, who's laughing now? He just died on the stairway because I could just tank several hits and stab him repeatedly. And his dogs couldn't help because he was blocking them. His body was too big. So yes, Capra Demon, fool that he was, was undone by his own room. And Anid will make this work. I swear to it. I'll get it eventually. Uh, but of course, that will have to be next week, 5 to 7 p.m. Eastern Time. That'll be more Dark Souls time. Hopefully, I can defeat Hovel the Rock before Scarlet Hollow comes out. Because I'm not prioritizing Hovel over Scarlet Hollow. Sorry. But, if you want to watch some Klonoa, uh, I'm playing that Saturday, uh, 9 to 11 p.m. Eastern Time. Gonna be starting that one up. Don't know how long that'll take, but should be a good time because it's Klonoa. And then if you want to watch more Hades, uh, gonna be playing that Tuesday, 5 to 7 p.m. Eastern Time. God, I am so close to getting the prophecies. <laughs> I've got almost all of the duo boons. 
And now I've written down what I need for the legendary boons too, so hopefully I can find those before too long. And then of course, if you want to watch the VODs or my LPs, I'm Pfeffer Mossimony on YouTube. You can watch my Mega Man LP on Monday. That one is Mega Man and Base. Wednesday is Chibi Robo. And Friday is Fire Emblem Echoes. And also, if you want to watch me play tabletop games with the friends, uh, you can go to twitch.tv slash battlesk Wednesdays at 8.30. Usually. We skipped this week because everybody was basically not feeling it for one reason or another. Except me, I was fine. Uh, and then, of course, if you want to throw money at me, you can do that through Patreon or Coffee. I'm Fefter on both of those, but you can find them easily enough. Uh, Twitter, bot, or, uh, Twitch bio, YouTube banner, YouTube videos, whatever. It's, it's all there. I guess technically I'll, I also have a Twitter, but why would you want to be on there? I mostly just do retweets anyway. Just just go follow Kegel Cats instead. You basically just get the same experience. Anyway, though... I guess that'll be it, yeah. So, uh, I will see y'all next time. Have a good evening.